welcome to the ultimate guide to Rio de Janeiro Carnival. By far the craziest party on the planet. And for three weeks straight, people from all over the world travel to Rio to attend one of the planet's most epic festivals. In this video, we're going to be talking about where to stay, the mind-blowing Samba School competitions with the over-the-top floats and costumes, and the non-stop block parties that I have you dancing until sunrise. And honestly, this is one of my favorites. But hold up, don't get it twisted. We're not just keeping this on the surface. We're taking you deep into the heart of Rio to party in the most famous favelas where the gangsters keep watch with heavy artillery. And you already know, we gotta show you the sunny side of Rio and the beautiful beaches. We'll have tips on how to have the best beach day, mingle with the most beautiful women in the world, and explore all the hot spots. From where to eat, tourist traps, and the wildest nightlife you've ever seen. So by the time this video is done, you're gonna know that carnival is not for the weak. So if you're ready to experience the insanity of Carnival, tuck your kids in bed, grab your phones, laptops, or TV remotes, and let's get this party started. And also, don't be a dick. Like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. What's good, people? It is your boy, Lord, coming back to you with another one. In this video, I'm going to tell you why it is a must that you have to go to Carnival at least one time in your life. But at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you why Carnival may not be right for certain people. But without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to one of the craziest type of parties you're ever going to witness. It's called a Blocko. And if you don't know what a Blocko is, well, here you go. That, my friends, is what they call a bloco in Brazil. And this isn't one of those regular parties like you're going to your grandma's 79th birthday. No, this is a party like... So I'm meeting one of my friends and shout out to Soul because gringos don't really know how to move when it comes to carnival. So if it's your first carnival, I definitely suggest you link up with somebody in Brazil that knows what's going on, man. And also make sure you are prepared for carnival. First off, you're gonna need a bunch of fucking water, man. Also make sure you have your proper protein, okay? You gotta make sure you have some of this, okay? Also, some important information that you're gonna need to know, these blockos last all day long until the next morning. So make sure that you wash your ass. You're gonna need some soap and deodorant, all right? I walked past a group of young gentlemen and I'm telling you they smell like 10 pounds of bounce that ass, okay? So wash your ass, ladies and gentlemen, please. We just walked the block, man, but it's still going. We had to get out the circus. We had to get out the circus. This shit is insane, this is incredible. But it's not for everybody. Like this shit is absolutely crazy. This is easily the biggest party in the world. Easy. My God. Like I said earlier, these blockos last all day and night, and they don't stop till the sun comes up. So if you don't like one blocko, you can go to the next one. If you don't like that blocko, you can go to the next one. Like I said earlier, keep in mind these blockos go all day and night. So I wouldn't advise you starting to drink super early unless you know how to handle your liquor. Some people can party all day. Some people can't. Some people know how to handle their alcohol. Some people don't. Hey, 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 hey. Julian. I don't know where I felt like I could get a little drink around right? here, do you, bud? Fucking crazy right now. Every day, nonstop. 
if you're not into public display of affection, Brazil in a whole is just not one of those places for you, okay? If you're not used to seeing two girls kissing, two guys kissing, six people kissing all together, Carnival may not be the place for you. But there are a few guidelines on how you go about kissing females or how females go about kissing you. For example, you have this couple here who looks like they're madly in love. Then you have this couple right here Notice how the lion goes in for the friendly handshake and then proceeds to pull the lion S to see if maybe, just maybe, he can get him a kiss. He checked her temperature, <laughs> the temperature was right, and then they went in for the consensual kiss. Key word, consensual. You want to talk about a playmaker? That's a playmaker. He made the play. Contrary to popular belief, a lot of people feel that the favelas is not a safe place. And they're absolutely right. But if you're a smart gringo and you know how to mind your own business, you'll be perfectly fine. And you'll probably have one of the best nights of your life. Just like I did. Check it out. Right now, we are in the favelas. We had a, we had Vichy Gal. We had a, have you been here before? No. And gringo. And gringo. Ah. Legal, galera. Esse gringo chegou aqui e eu não sei se ele tá preparado. Okay, Are you prepared? Now, now, now say what I taught you. Uh, what did I say? Fuck out of here. Say it again. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Come on. Oh, hello there. Back so soon. Yeah, it's safe to say that the favelas are some of my favorites. But enough of all that. Let me show you how to have a great beach day. Today, my friends, is a beach day. And to have a successful beach day, there's gonna be a few things that you may need. Number one, cooler. Number two, lawn chair.
Hey, this is the moment you save money for, bro. What's up, man? How you feeling? Bro, Brazil, you have to come through, man. It's insane. How you feeling, bro? How you feeling? Feeling great. Feeling good. Fall in love with this place. Shout out, bros, man. Shout out to the supporters of the channel, man. I appreciate you guys, man. Look at this fucking place. All right, so when it comes to the nightlife, Rio has so many options, it's crazy. A lot of people go to pregame at Boteca Belmonte, and that's probably one of my favorite places to eat just because the vibe is chill and they have multiple locations. Also, when it comes to the nightlife, a lot of people go to Lapa. Lapa is a huge area with multiple clubs, and you can just chill and party on the street. But keep in mind, Lapa is a very dangerous place. Multiple people get their phones stole 24-7, and it's just somewhere you need to watch your back at. Me personally, my favorite club is Casa Black, especially when DJ Tally is on the ones and twos. She plays some of the best funk and hip hop that you'll hear while in Rio. They have good bottle service, VIP sections, and cheap drinks if you need them. Check it out. I know you think carnival is all partying. You're pretty much right because even at the Samba School competition, it's a huge party in itself. The Samba School competition at the Rio Carnival is like the Olympics for carnival events. There are multiple schools all in one big venue competing to outshine the other. Months of hardcore preparation, building insane flows, crafting the most creative costumes, and practicing Samba moves like their life depended on it. Each school tells its own story with their parade, blending Brazilian history, culture, and current vibes in a mind-blowing performance. When Showtime hits, it's a riot of colors, beats, vibes, and there are thousands of people dancing and singing along. All schools get judged on everything from their music, their moves, to the overall performance, and the winner advances to the final rounds, aiming for that carnival crown. Beyond the competition, it's a full-on celebration of Brazilian culture and pride. The carnival isn't just about party, it's a showcase of Rio's heart and soul and where the city comes alive in a burst of samba beats and electric energy. Now keep in mind, this can get a little pricey. Tickets are anywhere from $45 if you have an uncle or something that knows somebody to almost $1,000, man. It just depends on what type of experience you want. So when it comes to cost and expenses in Brazil, your flight will most likely be your biggest expense. But once you get there, you can find cheap food options and accommodation. Everyone, even street vendors, take card payments so you don't need to carry much cash. The US dollar is strong in Brazil, so your money will go a long way depending on how you use it. But just be aware the prices do shoot up during carnival season. Getting around in Brazil is relatively easy with Uber, but sometimes you run into traffic, but it's nothing like Sao Paulo. For a quicker, cheaper option, consider taking the Uber Moto, especially if you're traveling short distances. If you're staying in Rio and want to stay close to the party scene, consider staying in Ipanema, Leblon, or Copacabana. These areas are popular for tourists, but the prices can be way higher. Another option is Umaita, and this is where my Airbnb was. It's just a seven minute drive from the beach and it's super close to the Christ of Redeemer. It's a quiet neighborhood with more affordable food options, making it one of my favorites. All in all, Rio is very affordable, but just make sure you save a little bit extra if you're going during carnival. 
So I stayed in this Airbnb during Carnival and it was everything I needed. For exactly two weeks, this cost me $1,245. And just to give you an example on how they raise prices during Carnival, now when I go on to Airbnb, this same apartment only cost me $900 if I wanted to rent it right now. Keep in mind, I'm roughly 10 minutes away from Ipanema and Copacabana. And the reason I did that is because I didn't want to be around the chaos 24-7 and I didn't want to pay gringo prices 24-7. Airbnb is a one expense that you're not going to be able to get around. But the real way you save money is cut down on your everyday expenses for example this meal right here in Ipanema cost me about $15 but if you leave the tourist trap you'll get meals like these from anywhere around four to seven dollars another good thing about Brazil if you meet the right people you'll get good service for good prices this guy came over and he cut my hair for ten dollars but I tipped an extra ten because I'm rich as fuck I showed y'all my apartment last night right but I didn't show y'all one of the best things about this apartment Christ the Redeemer right outside my window. God is good. Speaking of the Christ Redeemer, that's obviously the most popular thing that you can do while you're in Rio when it comes to activities. But there are different ways you can go see the Christ Redeemer. You can either go up close and personal, or you could take a helicopter ride that's going to go over the whole city and show you crazy views that you never thought you'd see. The helicopter ride is dope because you get the best views of the Christ Redeemer, and you get to see other places like the favelas and the beaches. But if you want to take pictures, it's best you just go to the Christ Redeemer. And keep in mind, there's going to be long lines, so make sure you try to get there as early as possible. Rio also has popular tourist attractions like the Sugarloaf Mountain, and they have the iconic staircase that was made famous to me at a young age in 2002 when Pharrell and Snoop Dogg shot their music video, Beautiful, in Rio. Oh, now, I know the Christ Redeemer is on everyone's bucket list, but right after that, if you're in Rio, you have to check out Pedro Dussal. This is a historic site and neighborhood that you have to check out, mostly on Mondays after 8 p.m. People come here to drink, eat, and chill with friends while they enjoy some of the best samba music Rio has to offer. So earlier in the video, I told you guys that I would be giving you some points as to why or why not Carnival may not be the right place for you. But in my opinion, Brazil is one of the best countries I've ever been to, and Carnival was easily one of the best times of my life. So I think that everyone should witness this at least once in their lifetime. That being said, there are a few things that you need to know before going to Carnival that may make you a little bit uncomfortable. All right, so the first point I want to bring up is if you're a person who doesn't like being in big crowds, then Carnival may not be the right place for you. I still think you can go and you can party, you can have a great time, and you can find places that are a little less crowded, but it's going to be very difficult. For example, if you go to the Samba School competition, it's going to be a huge crowd. Also, if you're planning on attending a Blanco, it's going to be an even bigger crowd, and those get kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie to you. Number two, if you don't like heat, please don't even come to Brazil. If you don't like sweating, if you don't like the heat, that's one of the things that you're going to have to look out for because it's hot as hell in Brazil. Another point, if you're not a party person, Carnival is just is not the place for you, man. I'm not saying that you can't come and enjoy your time in Brazil, but there are other times that you may want to come to Brazil other than Carnival, man, because Carnival is strictly for partying, man. It's one of the craziest parties I've ever been to in my life. For everyone who's watching this right now, I appreciate you guys for making it to the end of the video, man. It was an absolute insane time. I appreciate anyone who was in this video or anyone who helped me with this video. I really appreciate you guys, man. Other than that, next year, best believe I will be back at Carnival again. All right, so if you need a consultation or anything like that, make sure you hit my email or you hit my Instagram, preferably my Instagram. Also, we officially dropped some merchandise for the channel. Shout out to everybody who bought the I Won't Be Here Long Tour shirt. Um, on the front of it, it has I Won't Be Here Long. And on the back of it, it has every city and country and date that I traveled to on my first year of being a YouTuber from 2022 to 2023, man. Send me your name, your shirt size, and your address, and more importantly, send me your money so I can get this shirt to you, all right, man? Appreciate that. Whenever you do wear these shirts, man, make sure you tag me on Instagram so I can repost you guys. We've already went through two shipments, and this is the third one that we're about to be on, man. Appreciate everybody and all the support. After this video, I'm going to be dropping daily vlogs of my time in Brazil, and it's going to be dope, man. So we're going to recap everything in a little bit more detail, but y'all make sure y'all stay tuned. Make sure you like, subscribe, and send this to your mama, your uncle, your uncle Tito, your uncle Jermaine. Send it to everybody, man. Peace. Lord is out. This is it. I appreciate all the fans I had. Hate me or love me. You watched. That's all you could do. Thank you.